What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. That's all of a sudden at age, what, 60? He's just going to break bad? Hey, FedEx. Parking in the fuel out and taking a shower, right? What? I said, we parking in the fuel out and taking a shower, right? Yeah. Right, so that's the right place to park at, right? No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. All right, man. <laughs> let's, uh, let's, let's do this, man. K.E. Gray back in the building. <laughs> Uh, bro, man, uh, let's just jump right into it. So you, you make it up to the loves, you, uh, you, you, you're fueling, minding your business. Uh, <laughs> uh you, you just happen to, you, you just happen to look over in your peripheral. You see, you, you see old boy and his wife get out of their truck and you, you're under the impression that, you know, they're getting some fuel, like like you normally do when you get in the fuel island. But instead, they trip, trip the truck, grab the backpack, and go in there and take a shower. Now, when you confronted them, did they were they going to take their shower or was they finishing taking their shower? Well... Uh, they was going to take the shower, bro. So I was in the midst of fueling when FedEx pulled up. And as soon as he pulled up, he had barely popped his brakes. And the wife come climbing out with her suitcase and everything on roller, put on her hoodie, and walks right past me because they're fueling to my left. He walk she walks right past me. Okay. And I'm like, Okay, uh, team driver, you know, he's going to do what he got to do and she going go to go take a drive, take whatever. A shower. Right, 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 yeah, right. Whatever, whatever. So I'm fueling, I put 150 gallons in, clean windows and everything. You know, man, it takes a while to do this, right? Mm -hmm. So I hear the announcements. Customer number one, your shower is now ready. Please go to blah, 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 blah. Okay, I don't pay that no attention. Right. So now I'm, I'm cleaning my windows. As I'm putting the squeegee down, the driver gets out, turns around, looks at the truck, picks up his backpack, chirp, chirp. I'm like, I said, oh, I said, to, I literally said to him, oh, shower time. And he smiled at me, gave me the thumbs up. Right. Walked right past me. Okay. So, you know, I put the squeegee down. I'm going in to get my fuel receipt. So I'm going in like, man, maybe... I don't know, maybe 25 steps behind him. So I pull out my phone. So, yeah, oh, uh, I walk, right. So I walk right past getting my fuel receipt and I confront him. And that's when I say, hey, FedEx. Okay. So oh, you oh, park oh, in, you know. hold, hold up right quick. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. We we, we, we going to talk about that confrontation in a second. But, bro, let, let me give you let me give you a little bit of advice right quick. Because I hate I, I, don't don't get me wrong. But I, 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 I hate the phone camera. Next time, bro, get yourself a GoPro. Get get yourself a GoPro. They 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 do make body uh uh body straps now that's magnetized. All you gotta do is snap it on your chest or on your shirt, and you're already recording. Already, already recording. Just like I do. I gotta I got I actually got a GoPro and I got a uh and I got a Bovo body cam. An actual a actual police body cam. That shit's sweet though. Uh and when I get out of the truck, I turn it on. Choo choo. Already on. Already recording. Already. So whatever happens, I'm already recording. I won't have to worry about snatching out my camera. I won't have to worry about snatching out my phone or nothing like that. Nothing like that. But uh, you, 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 hold on right quick. You walked in and this happens. Hey, FedEx. Parking in the fuel aisle and taking a shower, right? What? I said, we parking in the fuel aisle and taking a shower, right? Yeah. Right. So that's the right place to park at, right? No, no, no. I'm, I'm not serious. You, the, the right place to park is to park in the fuel island and you and your wife come inside and take a shower, right? No, I live it now. No, no, you're not even now. I'm, I'm parked right next to you. I'm fueling. Oh, and, yeah. and, and, and your wife got out the truck yeah. and came in to take a shower. You just got out the truck, used your remote to lock the door. So you park your truck in the fuel island, come inside to take a shower. 
That's the right thing to do, right? You fucking stupid as hell. Okay, now let, let me let me let me stop it right there, man. Hold on. Let, let me stop it right there, man. I was with you all the way up until you told the dude he was stupid. <laughs> what 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 what, what? I mean, the, I mean, the confrontation, like, we we already see that he's a foreigner because, you know, he's talking in broken English and all like that. And I guess he's kind of like thinking like, oh, yeah, 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 cool, cool, cool. We good, we good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm about to do. I'm about to come in here and take a shower. Wada, 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 wada. But, bro, bro, what 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 happened right right at that part, man? It's just that, man, because I don't actually seen and I had one guy actually tell me the other night in Ohio that that's where you're supposed to park at because it's only going to take you 10 minutes. He said, so, yeah, you just park right here and you go take a shower and then you go back. And I was like, really? He says, yeah, yeah. I said, that's the smart thing to do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, why go park somewhere and take up a parking spot when all I got to do is just park right here? And I'm thinking to myself, that's wow. some stupid ass shit. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, you know what, though? You, you know what? I mean, I, I know I know there's drivers and I, you know, and, and some, you know, females, you know, they make TikToks about that shit, too. Like, if it's like late, like late at night, or something like that. What they'll do, they'll just they'll they'll park in the fuel island in the far end of the fuel island, and then they'll just park right there because they know that it's late, it's night, nobody's not gonna bother them. And they said they go in, you know, take the shower, do what they gotta do, then come right back out and uh hop in the truck and 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 bounce. Bruh. <laughs> That I, I'm, I'm quite sure you've been to that Love's in Jeffersonville on 71 right there across the interstate from the outlet. Right. That is a busy Love's, bro. Yes, That it is, is a busy Love's. So yeah, it's busy you catch all the time. Coming across, right. You catching traffic coming across U.S. Highway 35, and you catching all that traffic going north on 71. Right. And you got the, the overflow from that TA and the parking over there by the outlet. So that Love's is very, very busy. Right. And, you know, that's why I was just like, you know, that's, that's just crazy, man. And here's the thing. These new school drivers, they don't have a problem with that. Mm -hmm. And I could have, I could have finished fueling, mm -hmm. went inside, mm -hmm. grabbed my fuel ticket, mm -hmm. washed my hands, got in my truck, kept whatever I had to say to myself and kept keep it rolling. But here's the thing. That is the reason why... These new school drivers don't have a problem with that. That is the reason why at the end of the video, which I'm not going to mention what happened because you will get to that. But that is why stuff like that happens. It's because nobody. They have a problem with it, but they don't have a problem with it. It's not like I'm trying to be a, a Karen or I'm trying to be a Ken, but I'm like, hey, dude, this is not what we professional truck drivers do. Right. I'm not calling the police on you. I'm just letting you know, hey, bro, that's not what we do. But if you think that that's what it do and it's cool, you're stupid as hell, man. Hey, you just stupid as hell if you think that. And that's what I'm talking. You're stupider than I look. And I look pretty goddamn stupid. So <laughs> while all this is going on between you and the driver, now, mind you, before we play that part, you it was you and the driver uh, that was that was conversating with each other. And you didn't, it, it wasn't like that you went over to, you know, say anything to the uh, employees there. But unfortunately, an employee interjected herself into the situation. And escalated it. And, and escalated it. You stupider than I look. Really? Yeah. So I'm not parking my truck in the fuel island. Can I ask you a question? I'm not trucking. Wait, wait. Sir, like I said, you're sir. stupider than I look. Sir. Oh, it doesn't even matter. Yeah, it doesn't even is matter because of his stupidity. You come and go away. Well, well, like I said, like I, like I said, like I, like I said, you're stupider than I look. 
I look pretty goddamn dumb, but you're stupid as hell. Leave the store or I'll call the sheriff because he's not affecting you coming or going. You're not behind him. You're not in front of him. And it's individuals like it, you that allow stuff like that to no, continue. No, it doesn't. I just come wait, on, on and I would have... I would have wait, asked wait, him wait, to Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 your voice. You wait a minute. Need to leave. Hold on. First of all, did I even say anything to you at all? No, but you're screaming. Okay, so did I raise my voice at you? You, you can call the sheriff all you want to. My fueling is done. Then leave. So, and my fueling is done, so then it doesn't leave. matter. Are you on the but you don't raise. Why does it matter that you're raising hell with him? He's because it's, a, it's because man, don't touch me. Don't touch me, bro. Don't touch me. Don't taste me, bro. Don't taste me. All right. So right there. Right, right there, you, you, you're, 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 you're having it out with, with the chick, and instead of, in, instead of, you know, kind of like, like being understanding to the situation because they in there about to take a shower, and they team shower, this husband and wife, they about to go in there and take a shower, probably might get a clap session in. You know, so you know it's going to be more than at least 30 minutes, especially for the female. You know, it looks like right. you say, she went in there with a suitcase, bro. <laughs> so, right. you know, it's going to be more than than 30, 30 minutes, 30, 40 minutes. So you and the, you, you and the old boy, you know, y'all, y'all conversation, she interject herself into the situation and. And like you said, she she escalated it. And I kind of agree with you. Like, I mean, you know, I'm I, I would have looked at her too. I would have been like, you know, no, nobody's talking to you. I'm just, you know, just trying to get an understanding on why people do that. You know, but you is over here allowing which is, which you is over exactly here. I just want to say something. That is exactly why I initially ignored her and when she kept saying can i say something that's why i told i heard her and that's why you hear me say no <laughs> because i'm not talking to you <laughs> i'm not even I, we are not having any conversation at all i'm talking and looking and talking directly to him and you're trying to can i say something can i say something no <laughs> so she uh, so she over here escalating and by telling her that she's going to call the sheriff and ask you to leave but still, though, I mean, it's it's wrong. I mean, you know, even though even though all drivers do it for whatever reason, but it's wrong, though. And she should have just been like, look, sir, you know, look, why don't you go outside, move your truck, go ahead and park it and, you know, keep the fuel island clear for drivers that needs to get up there and fuel. She made it like, well, you're not behind them. He's not you're not being blocked by him. And nothing. it shouldn't matter. Whether if I was behind him or not, I mean, it's, I mean, he's he's going in there about to about to take up about an additional 30, 40 minutes. Ain't ain't, ain't no telling. Yo yo yo, fuel island could get could could get wrecked within the, within that time, and and he's you know taking up an additional 30, 40 minutes in there, and nobody else, everybody else is still waiting behind this guy. Smashing basil. Cool. This coffee smells like shit. Well, this is what I like about you is that you done already fast forward and your mind is thinking about other things. Because I was going to say the same thing, but um, there's going to be a lot of people that listen to this and it's going to think like her that, well, he's not blocking you. So what's the problem? And the problem is to me, and it's just me and my thinking, I guess you practice what you preach and you get, you perfect what you do by practice. So this was not the first time this guy parked in a fuel Island to go take a shower. This would not be the last time he was comfortable enough with doing it with nobody at the truck stop. That means that he's comfortable enough doing it when the truck stop is packed because I E no one at the truck stop has said anything to me. They haven't made me move my truck. They're cool with it. So if they're cool with it, why would I do something against what I know I'm not going to get punished for? Exactly. Exactly. So 
He's walking. I I, I guess he's I I, I guess he kind of came to an understanding like, well, maybe I should go ahead and uh move my truck. Let let me go ahead and move my truck. So he comes, he walks past you, you know, I guess he kind of like, you know, tapped you on your shoulder and be like, come on. Oh, fuck no. He reached out and grabbed me by the arm. He reached out and grabbed me by the arm as in, I guess, it's kind of sort of say me and you were standing there having a conversation and it's getting heated and you grabbed me by the arm like, come on, bro. That's what he did. He walked by and he grabbed me by the arm and that's why, you know, I turned around. I was like, oh, don't touch me. Put your fucking hand. Don't touch me, bro. And then she called herself mocking me. Oh, don't touch me, bro. Hey, don't taste me, bro. Don't uh, taste me. Yeah, that, that wasn't cool. Yeah, that, that wasn't cool right there. I caught that part. Don't touch me, bro. Oh, so you want somebody touching you? <sighs> hey, you know, at that point, I really, I it, okay, my mind went into overdrive because I started to go off and start calling her exactly what she was, and I don't need to express what she was. Right. But I started to let her know that I knew that she was what she was, and racist was not it. Right. She was not racist. We wasn't, well, she may we, been, we wasn't, but, we but wasn't going to play that card. No, that ain't the card I was going to play, but I was going to call her exactly what she was. And I don't, like I said, I don't need to go in because anybody that sees the clip already can see what she is. And I was going to let her know, you know, exactly what she was and, and how she felt. But then it occurred to me, smart people do stupid things sometimes because that's mm -hmm. just what we do as individuals. But stupid people, stupid people would never do anything smart because they say they think everything they say and do is smart anyway. Right. So ain't no need, ain't no need to trying to correct them on being stupid. And I was like, okay, so all she's going to do is call the sheriff. What is the sheriff going to do? Ask me to do ask exactly to, what I was getting ready to do. Ask you to leave. Get in the truck and leave. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which is what I was going to do anyway, is get my fuel ticket and leave. So I said, you know what? It ain't even worth me telling her how stupid she is because she already knows it. And she can go ahead and call the sheriff. All it's going to do is be a waste of her time and the sheriff's time and cause a bigger scene. And right. then you will notice, oh boy, did go out there towards his truck. But then when he saw me come back in, he walked back past me and I mean, come back out. He walked right past me and went right back into the truck stop. So he still, so he still parked in the in the in the truck stop, man. Well, that's, I mean, like I said, that's 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 what that's what us drivers do. I mean, I I was recently in a situation where I was in the fuel island. Uh, I was fueling, and unfortunately, I had a I had a number two emergency that came over me. Hey, so, hey, hey, TMI. Let's just say we <laughs> all been in that situation. Just say that. So, <laughs> so I, um, I, 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 I went into the, I went into the, to the restroom, and uh, of course, I was in there for maybe like I don't know for maybe like ten minutes or so, not like that. An additional ten minutes. I, I think I was still outside for maybe like ten minutes, but I was in the restroom for like. An additional ten minutes before I went into the restroom, I stopped over at uh over at the spot, put my order in, so that about time I came out the bathroom, I would be done and get in my truck and go. So I'm on my way out. Uh, I get finished. I I grab my stuff. I'm going, and I'm on my way out, and I overhear these two guys talking. And I, I, they conversating amongst themselves about the, you know, about the 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 trust in the fuel island. So one of them goes, you know, it says that the truck on the side of him, which is my truck, he said, well, me and that guy, you know, me and that guy being here just about the same time I pulled up and all like that. So I guess the other guy, you know, I, I don't know where I, I found out that he was behind me, not behind the other guy. So. When the dude turned around and see me walking behind him, because you know I'm, you know, I, I don't speak. I, you know, my my eyes is laser focused on what I'm doing. So he turns around. He's like, "Oh, that's the guy right here." And I, I looked up. I was like, "What's up?" And then the other dude goes into a tirade, like, "Well, you know, you can't be blocking the fuel island, yada 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 yada." So automatically I went into defense mode. I mean, you know, it's, I don't know why I do that. 
You know what I'm saying? I, you know, because I'm I'm more level headed or something like that. But unfortunately, I went into defense mode and I was like, bro, what you talking about? I was like, I'm I'm right here. I'm getting ready to move. What's up? What's up? And then, you know, he just kept running off at the mouth and shit. And I'm like, OK, bro, I'm right here. Why? Why are you still walking? If you want to talk to me, talk to me. But don't talk and walk from me, bro. You know what I'm saying? Don't try to be Mr. Billy Badass while you walking away from me. I'm right here. So, you know, well, just move out the fuel line. Just move out the fuel line. You know you're not supposed to be in the fuel line and yada, yada, yada. I said, bro, you didn't even ask me, you know, what, why was I was still in the fuel island or something like that. I could have been sick. I could have been, you know, throwing up in the bathroom or whatever, whatever. Bro, you don't know. It would have been cool if you would have just asked me, like, yo, you know, or just tell me, like, yo, you know, I'm behind you right quick. I was just wondering if you was all right or whatever, whatever. But, yeah, that's that's what happened. I mean, don't get me wrong. I understand. I understand certain situations. You know what I'm saying? Correct. I understand certain situations. But in that particular situation with you, though, I mean, I, you know, you you get out the truck and you know you going in there to 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 take a shower or whatever the case. Yeah, that's wrong. And it was wrong for her to even to even interject herself and in getting all irate with you, which all she should have did was just come on and just say, hey, bro, go outside, please move a truck, uh, be courteous and move your truck or whatever, whatever, instead of trying to get in it, trying to get she, in it with you. She because she could even said... Oh, go ahead. Yeah, I was just going to say, she could have even said, sir, let me handle this. And yep. I would have been like, okay. There you go. There you go. And she I, didn't even. I got nothing else to say I because just, the love's I, employee just took over. I, I just I just came on. So you really don't know what's going on out there. Exactly. You, you don't even know what's going on out there. You only getting the information from me. And you wouldn't even know that if I hadn't even came in there and said anything. But, bro, no, let, me, let me flip it, the script on you. Let me just flip the script on you. Gonna have to, because that's what I do. Yeah, so because you're gonna ask me, have I ever done it? Go ahead. No, Go no, ahead. no, 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 no. Why you just didn't mind your business? <laughs> ah, now I did say that, didn't I? I did say that at the beginning. I did say that I could have just hung that pump up and walked in there and did it. But you know, it's it's just like the, what they call the star that break the camel's back. You see it all the time. And you just, at some point, you get fed up with it. And although, you know, we as individuals have this tendency to think if we say something, it's going to make a difference. But in actuality, in all my years of driving, there has been very few times that me saying something to somebody has actually made them. I mean, there's been very few times I say, hey, man, um, you know, that's not the place that you should park at you probably should pull out in a parking spot and there's been very few times that somebody's looking hey man you know what you are absolutely right my bad i wasn't thinking let me go move the truck it has happened it has happened but it's been very few times that it has happened so you're absolutely right i could have and i should have just mind my business but that as I had stated earlier, that is part of the problem is, well, it's not my concern. He's not blocking me. He's not doing that. But then I go with where you went earlier. What happens? Cause we already, we know how busy that truck stop is. Mm -hmm. What happens when eight or nine big trucks pull in there at one time and everybody hits the fuel Island and now they're double stacked mm -hmm. and you are the guy who chose to double stack behind FedEx because FedEx is sitting here and he doesn't have any pumps in his fuel tanks. So he's getting ready to move. And now you sit there for 15, 20 minutes. And now you got to use the bathroom and you look in and you get out the truck and you walk into the truck stop. And on your way in, you see a couple come out from the shower area and just out of curiosity, you spin your head around and you walk, watch them walk straight to the truck that you've been sitting behind for 20 minutes. And you're like, what in the Sam Houston, Texas is going on here? Yeah, I, I get you. And, and like I said, there's different situations. Like they actually came out the shower. Maybe they came out the restroom or, 
or whatever the case may be. But yeah. But uh, hey, it is it is what it is, man. Good shit, you know, good shit right here, man. Thanks for reaching out and tagging me in the video so we can uh chop it up over it, man. But next time, I mean, next time, man. You know, like I said, I was I was with you all the way up until you know the name calling part. But uh, but um, but you that's under, you that's did not one time hear me say that I was right about that, did you? Nope, nope, nope. Okay, I didn't say, I never said that I was right. I just told you why I did it. Right. <laughs> <And that's why. laughs> well, There's a difference. I'm not trying to justify and say, man, well, I was right. No, I didn't say I was right because I did. So I should have just left the shit alone is what I should have done, but this is why I did it. <laughs> I got you. All right, man. Well, let me go ahead and get on up out of here, man. You take it easy. You stay safe out there, man. I'm I'm, I'm stuck in, well, I'm not stuck. I, I got I to drop. I got a I got a drop location where I'm taking this uh taking this load to because ain't nobody gonna be open tomorrow. But yeah, I, I'll be driving halfway through tomorrow uh to get home. So unfortunately Oh well Yeah, unfortunately I will be uh driving the better part of the of the holiday because I gotta go an extra six hours. Six hours. Ooh. Yeah. Six hours in the opposite direction to drop the trailer. Like literally, I'm over here. Oh. I, we talked about it yesterday, and uh, and I knew that I was gonna, you know, get to a drop spot to go and get the empty trailer. So now I'm six hours to go and grab an empty trailer, and then I probably will probably be, I guess. Heading back home with the empty trailer, I don't know, but knowing knowing my dispatcher, I know he's gonna try his damnedest to find something so I can bring with me. So, yeah, that's uh, that's uh, mm, the the day the day's pretty much done. So I will probably be driving all the way through tomorrow. Which wasn't the plan, even though I knew that was going to wow. be, I knew that was going to happen. But I, I basically right. told him that I wanted to be home by Black Friday anyway. So, well, I uh, want to tell you, enjoy your weekend when you get to it. Lockout man, uh, me, I am uh, heading over here to the Circle City, Indianapolis. Mm -hmm. Got to run out on the northwest side. I uh, got to make this drop, and then I turn around and deadhead back to the crib, and then I'm coming. I'm coming home, bro. I mean, I'm going to the crib, yeah, but I'm coming lucky, home. Yeah, lucky you. Let me go ahead and get on up well, out no, of here. Well, no, when, when I say I'm coming home, though, bro, I'm coming to Northeast Ohio. That's where I'm going to be at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bye, bro. I'm gone. <laughs> happy, <Bye. laughs> happy, happy, thanks, happy Thanksgiving, my guy. All right, lockout man. Nice right. chopping it up with you, man. Enjoy. Big cheese got it locked.